Hey guys, I'm LB. We are back playing the Talos Principle, and I was looking through these windows, and, uh... Lo and behold, what do I see? A challenge star. But how would one get there? Interesting. So yeah, I was thinking about this puzzle between episodes, and I think that we want to put the box on our duplicate, and then put this on the box, and then have the duplicate move in such a way that it gets an angle for the laser to redirect here. But... I'm not... sure that would work. I, like, it seems like this fence is too tall. And I definitely cannot stack two boxes and put something on top. That would not work. But... What I could do is have the duplicate stand on top of the box. If I put the box here first, and then have my duplicate stand on it. So first of all, we go down here, right? We give ourselves time to put everything on it. And then, we come over here and stand here. I think that's high enough, actually. Okay, so, come on, give me the box. And then, put that... Like that? That should work, I think. Yeah! It worked! Your is wisdom this... grows, but be wary of temptation. I got the achievement on top of things. Be wary of temptation, what? Interesting. So right, so this area is just for us to get out of there. But I totally could pick something up maybe. Definitely do not know how I would go about getting this guy. Alright. Let's uh first of all. Okay. Yeah, I think we've exhausted the serpent dialogue. Maybe. I don't know. Don't, I still don't know how that works. Or how interactive it is, or if my choices mattered or not. So these platforms are cool. These are meant to be used with, uh, this. Because we definitely can't put something on it first, I don't think. Interesting. Why could we... It totally looks like we could. Oh, well, look at this! So, this would knock off whatever's on top. That's interesting. What does it matter that I scribble my contempt on these walls if I'm still surrounded by them? Interesting question. Okay, so this is how we would begin, right? Is there a place- yes, there's a place to stand on either side here. So then we would do this... Come around here... And then go over to here. So I'm guessing there's no jammer, right? Yep, just play in wall. Okay, so let's get started. Give myself time to get on this thing. Then we go here. And then we come around. And then we go over here. Alright. Let us play. Oh, 
Oh, come on, are you serious? Whew, did that just in time. That's interesting, I could carry the, the duplicate. Rapunzel, let down your hair. Haha. Ha. Ah. That's an interesting question. Oh well. boxes, and we'll go over there, and we'll be able to take one of the boxes with us. Hmm. Perplexing. I guess we'll just try it and find out. Stand here, stack both boxes on it, right? And then we jump ourselves onto it. Wait, we can only stack one box, can't we? No, 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 because the clone holds down the button, that's right, the clone holds down the button. And then we walk over here, right? I think that should work. Can't climb while carrying an item, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, let's give this a shot. Yeah, so there's that. Yeah, and one of the clone boxes stays here. Okay. Gave myself more than enough time, but that's fine. Yeah, it looks like we're at the right level for this. What? Ah, So close. Alright. Let's try this again. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So... Oh, nope. When I do that, then this... Stand here. And then walk over here, but not too close. Oh, 
Okay, that should do it. Come on. We got to get this guy. Oh, come on, really? Uh, I have to restart now. And then we walk over here, but not too close. Okay, I think that should be good. So we take that. Good, that works. Take that, yes. But wait, we need the other box. Ah. I understand. That is clever. Actually, so yeah, we want to have it here. That'll good. That's good. That makes it so that we can take both boxes with us. Interesting. Alright, let's get this party started. So we'll wanna wait here for, I don't know, up to 20 seconds, I say. That'll give us time to, get, to grab both boxes and run around on the stairs and get them up to here. Okay, and then, we jump on this. Alright, that should do it. What am I doing? Let's get this guy first. And then grab this one, because the clone will stand on the clone box. And then we'll jump. Yeah, this should do it. Of course, I could just climb the ladder myself. I don't need to do it this way, I don't think. Yes! We did it! That is the solution. Awesome. Okay, where to next? Where to next? Oh, the serpent wants to talk to me again? Oh, you came back to keep me company? Okay then, humor me with a little hypothetical. Imagine that a few hours from now, you climb to the top of that tower. There's a flash of light, then magic happens, then you find yourself in the real world, living whatever you take to be a normal life there. What would you do then? What's up with these choices? best for me, what's right. Well, if I was a robot, I wouldn't have to worry about, like, starving or anything, so I would just do what's right. No great surprises there, but let's make things just a little clearer. So tell me, this obligation you feel, is it only applicable to the real world, or does it apply here as well? That's a tough question. Having to pick between those two answers. I really do not like that aspect of this game, and the answers are just really tough answers to pick between. 
Because neither of these are ones that I would actually say. Plus, morality is a complicated thing anyway. I'll just pick this one. We'll go altruistic. What a magnanimous dictator you would make. Of course, I'm sure it would take a dictator to enforce a single moral code on the entire universe. So come on then, what's your magic formula of choice? And let me warn you that this time, you're going to have to choose just one. The more equal everyone's share, the better. No. The more goodness in the world, the better. Maybe. Consequences don't matter, only reasons do. No. I see no way to explain what I believe. Maybe. This sounds like communism. This sounds like... the means justify the ends. I'm not sure what would be bad about this one, but I'm sure there's something bad about this one. And this would probably just make him say, like, ah, you, you know, what a weird way to say it or something, I don't know. What'd I pick? One of these ones on the right. The more goodness in the world, the better. I guess it depends on what you mean by goodness, but I'm gonna pick that. Ah, that old chestnut. So just what is this goodness you're speaking- seeking to maximize? Ooh... I'm not in a position to solve these problems. I am most certainly not in a position to solve these problems. Huh... Happiness is tough, because you can't make everybody happy. Liberty is another tough one, because you can be liberated without being happy. Quality is something that a lot of people strive for, but it's really not gonna work too well. There was a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic episode about equality, in fact. And how it didn't work out very well at all. Wealth? No, definitely not wealth. Basic goods like food and healthcare... That's not what I would define goodness as. And certainly not... all of the above. Cause he said I'd have to pick just one. If I pick all of the above, he's gonna be upset with that. Plus, I don't think wealth... Okay, my opinion on money is that it's a temporary solution to a problem that will go away eventually, at least I hope it will. Eventually, I hope, we get to a point where the economy is like in Star Trek, where we don't do things for money anymore. But that's not gonna happen within my lifetime, pretty sure. Either way, it's certainly not something that I want to strive for. Wealth is something I'm not- not something I want to strive for, anyway. You could be happy, but you wouldn't really live a meaningful life or have an impact on the world. I just want to make a- like, for me, personally, I want to make a positive impact on the world, but now thinking about it, I'm not really sure what that even means. And I want to be happy while doing it. Because here's the thing, you could just plug yourself into a computer that's a simulation of you being happy for all eternity, and that would maximize your happiness, right? That wouldn't be very good. None of these are good choices. None of these are good options.
Hmm. <laughs> I do not know what to answer here, but I think we will figure it out next episode, hopefully. As always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!